Hello YouTube, my name is Josh Kenny, and in this tutorial we'll be talking about swipe actions. This is a new modifier that you get in iOS 15. So let's go ahead and look at what we'll be creating. So you see here we have a list of emojis which they're describing next to them. What you can do now with the swipe action is actually drag to the left and access a settings page or we can drag to the right and access the home page. Another thing we can do is actually fully drag all the way over and it will automatically go to that page as well. I'll show you how to turn that on and off. So if you want to put multiple buttons on one side, you wouldn't want to drag it all the way because it wouldn't know which one to go with. Um, so you can turn that off so, that, so your user don't, doesn't drag all the way over and get lost or go to the wrong page. So let's go ahead and start. Inside our Xcode you will see uh, content view I haven't done anything with yet. But I have this emoji struct, and this is going to be what we're creating in our list for with our emojis. So I just have a struct of emoji, make it a type identifiable, that is for the list. Um, and because you get this ID, which is of type, or which is equal to the UUID, so that's going to give us that unique ID that we're needing for those lists. Next, the type, this is what we're going to call our emoji, and then describing the emoji, I just put describe. So make sure you have this struct. Next, we have a home view. All I did in here is wrap a VStack, put a text, um, made it the sizable font I wanted, and added a little bit of uh, padding to the bottom. And then the image, I made it of the house, uh, resizable so I can change the frame, and then added a foreground ground color to it. Settings, I copied this right here, and then I pasted it inside the settings view, and then I just changed the name on settings, and changed the icon to gear. So these are very, very simple, as you just saw in that um, in that app itself there's not a lot going into these my main point for you guys is to be able to go from one view to the other so with that being said let's go ahead and start building now the first thing we want to do is work on this list so to do that let's populate the actual um, list of emojis first so right here we're going to add an at state and this is going to be the actual variable that holds our emojis so let's just call it emojis that makes sense to me we're going to set this to equal an array. And I already have my five um, added here, so I'm going to just paste it to make it quicker. But you can make your emoji of whatever you want. The type, I just created these. Um, make sure you wrap it in a string. And then whatever I thought this was doing, so this is silly, so I just wrote silly to describe it. Um, if you wanted to write a new one, all you do is capitalize the E for emoji, because we're accessing that struct that we created. Add a parentheses and then you can go, you see this ID one, do not click, see how it says ID here, don't click on that one. We only made that ID for the list, so you want to do the first option without the ID. And then you can just fill it in here. So I did the emojis, uh, if you hit control, command, space, you can access your emojis and it will go ahead and put them in and then whatever you think it is. So that I would probably put as a smile, so I'll leave that there too. Um, so. Our emojis is done. Now let's go ahead and delete this view here where it says text hello world and let's populate that actual, oh, I need a comma here. That let's poppy, let's populate the actual um, list here. So go ahead and put your list. And then from there, we want to do our, our for each. So for each, and what do we want to pass into the for each? It's that emoji that we just created up there. And then, we can grab something in there. So we can name this whatever we want since it's there's a list of emojis, so there's more than one, great, but whenever we want to grab one, I'm just going to name it emoji. So there's only one. And then in, um, and this could be any word you want. I could put high, I could put grass, it doesn't matter. But you want to make it kind of make sense of what you're working with. Hey, this is emojis because there's more than one. Whenever I'm going in here for each emoji, that makes sense. So that's why I do it that way. Uh, that was kind of a struggle when I first started um, learning this and, and these two things here. So I just wanted to kind of explain that a little bit for you. Anyways, moving on. We're going to add an H stack here because we want it to be the emoji. And then next to it, we want it to be the actual uh, describing of the emoji. So let's go ahead and make that now. Uh, now, you might think that this should be an image. But as you can see here, the, the emoji is actually a string because we're accessing that from the keyboard. So we're going to do a text here. And then inside the text, we're going to grab that emoji that we just created there. And then if you hit dot, you can access that now. Uh, let me see if it'll auto correct for us. Uh, dot. 
and it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type out type because I know it's there. Um, sorry about that. So for whatever reason, my autofill isn't coming in. Text, emoji, and then we can access. See, I just did the type there. Now we want the describe there. For whatever reason, it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spelling it. There it is. So now inside of our HTAC, we have the type, which is gonna populate this, and then the smile, which is gonna populate that. Awesome. Now inside here, we're gonna change that a little bit. So let's do a frame. And I don't care about the width. I just want the height of the frame or of the list to be a little bit taller. So I'm gonna set that to be 100. And I don't care about this alignment, nor do I care about the width. So there that is. And now the next thing we want to do is actually add in this swipe action. So let me look over here and see what we have going on. And there we go. So we have our list, but now if you drag it, you know, you're not going to be able to do anything yet. So now let's go ahead and ax, uh, add in our swipe action now. Okay, so you access a swipe app action by doing a dot to get the modifier. Just start typing in swipe and then you can see this. So you have a content one and then you have the edge allows full swipe and then the content as well. That's the one I'm gonna go with just to kind of show you. Um, but before we do that, I want you guys to do two things for me if you haven't yet. First is you wanna go up here to your actual project, go into build settings, and then you wanna come down here to this iOS deployment target and set this to be 15 because that's when we're able to get this in. If this is set to something less than 15, you will have to add a little bit extra code inside of here. Um, it'll, it'll basically say, hey, make sure you do the at iOS 15 at the top of this, um, just to basically show whoever's using your code uh, that, hey, this is only available in iOS 15, which is good if you're inside your company, but for this type of thing, we want to ignore that error, and that's why we do that. Uh, another thing is, if you're not seeing this swipe action, make sure if you click on Xcode, about Xcode, I'm using iOS uh, version, I'm sorry, Xcode version 13. Uh, so make sure you have the correct version as well in Xcode, and then that should start working. Anyways, so the edge, this means, and let me pull this back up for you, which way? So is it going to be in the front or in the back? And you can access that by the edge. So if you do dot, you can do leading or you can do trailing. Um, I'm going to do leading at first. And then allows full swipe, that is right here as well. So if you do full swipe here and you let go, it'll take us to the home page. You can turn that off by setting this allows full swipe to false. And then that will automatically not go to home if you swiped it. And again, the reason why that would be important is if you had multiple, when they swiped it over and they had multiple buttons, then you don't want them to fully swipe it because it's going to go to only one of the buttons. So you only want them to drag it over, see the buttons, and actually click on them before the, it'll go to the next screen. That's why you would change that to false. Also, if you just get rid of this altogether, this allows full swipe, um, it will automatically be true. I believe that is the actual default one for us. Okay, so we are going to get rid of that. I'm just going to do leading here, and then I'm going to add my uh, brackets. And then inside of your swipe action is where you can add your stuff. So I'm going to do a button and then our action label. The action, we are going to print just so we have something in there. Wow. And then the actual label, this first one, I want it to go to the home screen, okay? So I'm going to do that. So we're gonna do tech, uh, image, system name, and then that's gonna be house. And that should get rid of all that. So now let's see where we're at. If I hit this play button here, there we go. Now see how that's gray on the outside there? If you want to go underneath here, you can do dot tint. And then you can change that. We can do red. And now you have the red tint, which is pretty cool. So I'll leave that as red. Um, and now I want to actually, whenever you click on this, I want it to go to that home screen. So we can do that by doing a navigation link. So the first thing is we want to embed the navigation. So embed on list. Navigation view. And now we can access our navigation link. Um, from there, we want to go ahead and go in underneath tent. 
we can add that navigation link and we want the one that has the actual um, is active inside of it okay so you have a couple of those here so I'm going to go and do I believe it's the title king and then destination I believe it's this one um, but before we get to that let's go up here and make uh, a binding variable so we can trigger that so up here we're going to make two because we know we have a settings and a home so at state at state then we're going to do var home is active and we're going to set that to false and then we're going to do the same thing with this but with settings so var settings is active and that's going to be set to false as well and now inside of here instead of printing wow we're going to toggle that so since this is going to be the home one we're going to do is or i'm sorry home is active and we're going to do dot toggle and then so if it's false it's going to go to true if it's true then it's going to kick off this navigation link um, and that's how that one's actually working so we are going to do the destination is going to be the home view the actual binding variable is home what is that home is active and then we have to put the dollar sign in the front so it can um, keep track of that because it's a state variable um, and then the next thing is the actual string itself and we can go ahead and create whatever we want here i'm just going to make it an empty string and that should work let me oh, let me build that oh i did the wrong navigation link okay let's do this again do navigation I'm sorry guys navigation link and then we're going to just go ahead and add this in so destination we're going to do the home view set that and then from there we can actually access the is active is active and then we're going to set that to be the home is active and then from there that's where we can actually go and do this part so open your brackets there and do your image if you want or you can add a string as well but we're going to do the system name as well and we will just add in that house so now let's build that and see if that takes away the air and it does so now let's try it out so if we go resume and we might have to use a simulator here we'll see if this can handle it and we wait and it can't so let's go ahead and build up oh, you see that we have this guy here on all of them so let me slide it real quick. That is working. Let me slide it and click on it. That is working, but you see we have the house in all of them. And that's because we put it here, which is still inside of this for each. So let's move this. I believe we move it one more under. Try that. Now if we run that again, Now we see it down here, and, and I will show you how to get rid of this part, but uh, this is the only tutorial or the only way I could find out where you can actually click on this and go to a new view using a navigation link versus just like, you know, like deleting the row inside the list, which is pretty cool too. But I wanted to navigate to a different view, and this is the only way I could find to do it. So if you know a better way of hiding this, uh, then let me know. But this is what I found out so far. So if you go at, at underneath this bracket here and you do dot hid, you get this hidden 
thing. So if you run it, now that guy down there is gone and now we can actually click on this and use this like we're supposed to. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the same exact steps just so we are comfortable with it, um, but add it onto the other side and add the setting part. So right here after the swipe, we are going to add another one, so dot swipe. And actually, you know what? We're gonna copy this whole thing. It just makes it that much easier. Um, so copy this. And then inside here, we're gonna do, instead of leading, we're gonna do trailing. And then instead of is home, it should be setting. Cause that's what we have up there. We're gonna to toggle that. And then instead of house, we are just, instead of doing an image, I'm just gonna show you another thing you can do. We're gonna do text instead. And then this way, we're just gonna type in settings. Um, just so you can see, hey, you can have an image or you can have uh, text as well. And then instead of red, we can, let's just do gray. Settings, gray, sometimes they're gray. That makes sense to me. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that, clean it up. And then we're gonna do the same navigation link with the hidden. So copy, oops, undo that, copy that. Paste it here, but instead of home view, we're going to settings view. And then instead of his active home, we're going to do settings. And then house, system name. Again, we can do text. I'll leave this because we're hiding this anyways. But I will do gear instead. But we're hiding it so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then you have your dot hidden. So now let's run that. And now we should see. Okay, we got our home there. We got our settings there. If we click on settings, it goes to the settings page. They're not showing down below. And if you drag all the way across, they'll go there as well. Um, now, if you wanted them to both be on the same side, instead of them both, one being trailing, one being leading, you could just do leading here. And now check it out. They're both over here. And this is what I was talking about. This is why you would turn off the long drag. If I drag it all the way, you'll see it goes to home every single time. And you don't want it to, what if you want it to go to settings? That's why you would turn that long drag off where it just makes the user able to click on one or click on the other. And that is gonna do it for swipe actions. Guys, if this was at all beneficial for you, go ahead and leave a like by smashing that thumbs up button. If you wanna see my upcoming content, you can do so by hitting that bell, that will alert you. And as always, if you have not yet, please, please, please hit that subscribe button as that does help me get my content out to others who may be needing it. As always, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.